Hi guys, Miro and Lucy charts are two popular diagramming tools, but which one should you be using? Miro is a whiteboard style collaboration tool that allows users to create charts and diagrams while doubling as a platform for meetings, presentations, and real time teamwork. Lucy charts is a popular web based diagramming tool that allows users to share, draw, and revise charts and diagrams with a heavy focus on services for developers. While both tools share many similarities, they are unique in their own rise and appeal to different audiences. To help you make an informed decision, I will explain the main differences between Miro and Lucidchars and will consider 5 criteria to see how these two diagramming tools suck up. We will leave a link below this video in which you can get a free plan for Lucidchars or Miro, so you can also try them out for yourselves to see which one you like better. Risk free! For the user experience and interface, Miro is all about simplicity and intuitiveness. The app's dashboard is clean and direct, allowing new users to learn Miro quickly. All of its tools for adding connections, drawing, text, and icons are easily accessible on the left side of your board and identified visually. You can organize your boards, view recent updates, and filter your boards with Miro's search bar feature. Overall, Miro's UI is straightforward, even for digital whiteboard beginners. Lucid Charts interface is simple to use but feels a bit outdated in comparison to Miro. In some ways, Lucid Charts makes up for this in other ways, including a powerful search function for sourcing through tags, templates, recent activity, and comments across diagrams. You can start projects in Lucid Charts by clicking the new button. This action will automatically give you the option of starting with a template, but you can also opt for a blank board if you prefer to start your projects from scratch. Now for diagramming, Miro has extensive library of basic shapes, icons, and connectors to help you create flowcharts, wireframes, journey mapping charts, and process diagrams. You can collaborate with your team using Miro in real time. For instance, members can leave feedback, make changes, or ask questions directly on the diagramming canvas. You can connect Miro with over 100 other apps and embed your projects into tools like Microsoft Office and Confluence. Alternatively, Miro also lets you export your diagrams as images. If you are seeking to its free plan, you will feel Miro's limitations in this category. To access a more extensive shape and connector library and advanced diagramming tools, you need to upgrade to one of Miro's paid subscriptions. Diagramming is Lucid Charts K. This tool allows you to create any type of diagram, no matter how complex, large, or detailed. Lucid Charts has a vast shape library with hundreds of icons and symbols for network diagrams, entity relationship diagrams, org charts, unified modeling language (UML), and everything in between. But it doesn't end there. Lucid Charts can also link live data to its diagrams. For example, you can connect your diagrams to data in Google Sheets. You can also generate diagrams using Lucid Charts. Just import a text markup and Lucid Charts will create a UML sequence for you. It also supports conditional formatting for diagrams with more information. When you are done with your diagram, Lucid Charts offers detailed exporting options to share your diagram as an image, JPEG, PNG, SFG, PDF, VDX, or CSV file. You can also publish your diagrams to make them publicly accessible, limit others' access to view only, or grant permission to edit your documents. Now for the online whiteboard, Miro's browser-based whiteboard is intuitive, easy to use, and makes getting started fast and fun. Its minimalist design doesn't get in the way of your work. Instead of being constrained to a single window with fiddly toolbar buttons and menus, it opens up into a full screen experience where you can lay out your projects any way you want. When you first get into Miro's editor, you will see that the canvas is blank and ready for you to doodle and draw. The drawing area is comfortable size for individuals or small groups collaborating on a project. Plus, you will notice that in this space there are smooth grid lines to help you figure out where to put things. In addition, the media toolbar lets you access your visuals at any time, and you can also see what you are working on or share it with others. And if you need to change your brush size or color, there is a palette of options at the bottom of the screen. 
Besides, the Y support supports drag and drop functionality, so you can rearrange your diagrams and charts at any time. It also has a built in text editor which allows you to add notes or other bits of relevant information to your project. On the other hand, Lucid Charts is a diagramming tool first and a whiteboarding tool second, which makes its online whiteboard can be a bit overwhelming compared to Miro. The first time you log in, it may not be immediately clear where to begin if you are new to the app, and it's easy to get distracted by all the options available. There is a sidebar at the left side of the screen with all kinds of advanced customization features, and above that is a navigation bar where you can switch between your documents, edit them, share them with others, or insert new assets to them. Lucid Charts also has a section at the top of the editor called Insert. Then Templates, it includes several default diagrams which aren't customizable but can be used as templates for any projects you may need to create in the future. The list of diagrams is immediately useful because it gives you a choice of pre-made diagrams that you can use for projects rather than having to start from scratch every time. In terms of style, Lucid Chart's web-based whiteboard is definitely more conventional than MiroWay's. It looks like other editors you may have seen for tools like Excel or Google Sheets. The icons are also very plain. There aren't any fancy graphics or images on any of the tabs. Now for the integrations, Lucid Charts and Miro both offer a lot of integration with major tools including Google Suite, Microsoft Office, Slack, Salesforce, Jira, and more. So when it comes to integrations, Lucid Charts and Miro share the chair. Now for the pricing, Miro lets you create a free account that gives you three customizable boards, a ton of pre-made templates, and core integrations with apps like Slack, Airtable, and Smartsheet. If your team is large and you want to use the missing feature or add more than one user to work on custom diagrams and templates, then you will need to upgrade to one of its three premium plans, the starter plan, the business plan, or the enterprise plan. You can choose to pay for your membership monthly or annually. You get 20% off choosing annually billing. Overall, the prices are affordable though they increase the more people you add. The starter plan $96 per year or $10 per month per user. The business plan $192 per year or $20 per month per user. If you need even more capabilities than the starter and the business plans provide, or if you want a customized model, then you have to contact Miro's sales team through their enterprise plan. They will give you a quote tailored to your business needs. Like Miro, Lucid Charts also offers a free version. You can use up to 3 editable boards and 100 templates with it. You can choose from 3 payments plans, the individual plan, the team plan, and the enterprise plan, and opt for monthly or yearly subscriptions. The individual plan, $8 per month paid yearly, or $10 month to month. The team plan, $9 per month per user paid yearly, or $11 month to month. $27 per month is the starting price on this plan. It's like 3 users. Lucid Charts prices are slightly less expensive than Miro's and include unlimited editable documents, 1GB storage, versioning, premium templates, and password protected files. Similar to Miro, it offers a more advanced enterprise plan for large organizations. This includes IP address whitelisting, advanced data and automation capabilities, or Salesforce integration among other features. So choosing between Lucid Charts versus Miro depends on your business and your needs. They both have a large range of features that makes them suitable for many industries and businesses, and they both offer a free plan so you can test them out for yourself to see which one you like better. So what I can say is if you are looking for a killer diagramming tool, Lucid Charts is an affordable solution. However, if you are looking to cover more bases with one tool, Miro is your best choice. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you. So hopefully this video helped you out and bye bye.